Hi, it's Miriam. This is the Fortnite of Top 10 list, so I have chosen to vlog about my top 10 favorite animes. Cowboy Bebop is about Spike Spiegel, a cowboy or a bounty hunter, and he's one of the coolest characters ever created. He has a past with a crime organization called The Syndicate, and he's on the run. His adventures in his ship, the Bebop, take him all over the solar system with his partner, Jet. They pick up a scheming bounty hunter named Faye Valentine, one of my favorite female characters ever, and a prepubescent, nutty, genius hacker named Edward, who is a girl. The soundtrack for the series is phenomenal, and it's considered by many people to be among the best animes of all time. It's definitely my favorite. Neon Genesis Evangelion is a mecha anime, meaning it involves people who ride in giant robots that fight each other. Evangelion is one of the most epic animes ever produced. It's insanely long and involved and contains a ton of apocalyptic imagery. Don't expect it to make a lot of sense, but if you want to get into anime, you really need to see this one just to understand what all the fuss is about. Gurren Lagann is made by the same company that produced Evangelion. It bears some resemblance stylistically and because of its epic cosmic themes, but the story is much better managed. Humans have been forced to live underground due to dangers on the surface of the earth, but Simon escapes his underground village with his surrogate big brother, Kamina. They find a bunch of other humans with mechas, and they fight other people in robots and go in outer space. It's crazy, but it's gorgeously drawn, and it's interesting to see a brotherly relationship, not a romantic one, as the driving force behind an entire story. Kurishitsuji, or Black Butler, is about a 12-year-old boy named Xiao, whose parents are murdered, and in order to get revenge, Xiao makes a pact with a demon. The demon takes the form of a butler named Sebastian in order to help Shale track down his parents' murderers, and once they get revenge, Sebastian will get Shale's soul. This show is fantastically witty, and it's set in Victorian England. It's got a dark tone because of all the demonic activity, and the banter between the uptight Shale and the devilish Sebastian is particularly enjoyable. Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt is possibly the dirtiest show you may ever see. Do not watch it with children around. I don't care if it looks like Powerpuff Girls. It is unbelievably raunchy. Panty and Stocking are sister angels who got kicked out of heaven and are trying to earn their way back in by cleaning demons off the streets. And that is basically all you need to know. Akira is one of the most amazing animated films of all time. It's considered a classic in Japan. It's set in Neo Tokyo in 2019. A boy named Tetsuo is discovered to have psychic abilities similar to Akira, a boy who destroyed Tokyo 30 years previously. Because he's considered a threat, there are these guys who try to kill Tetsuo, but he gets away, leaving a path of destruction, and his friend Kanada is trying to stop him and also save him. The animation is incredible, and the story is epic and so sad. Also, they're trying to make this into a live-action version with white American actors, which I think is the shittiest idea ever. More on that in another vlog. For all of you Twilight fans, I'm not one of them. Vampire Night is a story about vampires and an actual love triangle, only much better written. The girl named Yuki is torn between Zero, this boy she was raised alongside like family, and Kaname, the handsome and civil vampire leader who saved her life as a child. Fill in the blank. It's actually really enjoyable and pretty well written. Cheese Sweet Home, I could not get enough of this show. It's like 100 episodes, but they're only like 3 minutes each. It's about a kitten who gets lost, and then adopted by an adorable family with an adorable little boy. It sounds ridiculous, but it is un- it's like crack. You can't stop watching it. It's so cute. Oran High School Host Club is a great anime to start with if you're new to anime. The mood is light, the story is easy to follow, and all of the characters are pretty likable. Haruhi is a poor scholarship student at a super rich private school. While in the host club room, she accidentally breaks a vase, and in order to pay off her debt, she joins the host club and poses as a boy. Hijinks ensue. Howl's Moving Castle. Okay, this is Miyazaki and he's basically in his own category, but this is my favorite Miyazaki film and it technically counts as anime. Sophie accidentally runs into the infamous magician Howl on the street one day, and the Witch of the Waste gets jealous and curses her. So Sophie becomes an old woman, and is unable to tell anyone who she really is, so she ends up joining forces with Howl, hoping that he can break her curse, and eventually she begins to fall in love with him. This is such a gorgeous story, and a really beautiful film. It's based on a book, which I bought, and I'm determined to read this year. So those are my top 10 favorites right now. <laughs> There's a lot that I still haven't seen. And there's a lot more that I left off the list that I have seen that I also love. Um, there's a little bit of something for everybody in there, so if you're new to anime, there are links below, and hopefully you'll be able to find something that you enjoy watching. <laughs>